play number one. First, it's Caleb first on the first highlight zone of the season. Way back on December 6th, it's first bringing down the hammer. The great look from Zane Burke as Blackhawk Christian beat New Haven in the first game of the week of the season. Play number two. February 14th, that's Valentine's Day. No love for Snyder as Demarcus Hudson coming out of nowhere for the big slam. It was a key victory that helped the Knights eventually win the SAC title after winning just four games the year before. Play number three. Woodland and Heritage on January 24th. Joe Reedy getting greedy. He seals it for Woodland. Reedy only a sophomore has almost 800 career points already. Play number four. February 28th, Lakewood Park hosting Adam Central. Cademan Bontrager, a huge night. 34 points, including five dunks, but this was the best. The Panthers needed every single one as they beat the visiting Jets by two. Play number five. December 6th, Homestead at Warsaw. Jake Archbold hitting the deck ahead to Luke Goody, who slams at home. Goody and the Spartans winning at the Tigers' den by 19. Play number six. March 3rd, and this one comes from sectionals. Concordia's Brayton Pearson with the putback slam. Take another look as he goes flying in, and the Cadets beat Bishop Dwenger at Paul Bateman Gymnasium. Play number seven. December 27th at the SAC Holiday Tournament, Michael Ely getting some serious hang time. The Snyder Jr. with a sweet putback slam. He had a lot of good ones this year, but this was the best. Play number eight. It's Ely on the passing end of this one. He throws it up to Snyder Sr. Dylan Duff. That was February 14th against Lures. Duff has got some brains as well as brawn. He was named Academic All-State. Play number nine. New Haven's Jakar Williams throwing it down with reckless abandon. The powerful junior with a potent punch as the Bulldogs rocking Armstrong Arena on February 14th against East Noble. Play number 10. Pretty good way to start a game. February 21st, first points of the game for Norwell. A lob to senior Will Geiger. The Knights beating Jay County on their way to an impressive 22-2 season. Play number 11. A bit of surprise at Tiger Arena as Wabash and Peru playing for the TRC title and it's Jared Holly with the pilfer and the pair for the Apaches. With the win over Peru, Wabash earning its second straight outright conference title. Play number 12. This list wouldn't be complete without a submission from Landon Jordan. January 31st, the Busco big man slams at home against Central Noble. Jordan helping Busco win a share of the NECC title and a sectional crown. Play number 13. Leo's Blake Davison generously listed at 6 foot 1, 150 pounds. He's the smallest guy on this list, but he's got some big time talent. The future Indiana Tech Warrior throws one down against Woodland on February 28th. Play number 14. The Purple Pride represented again. It's DJ Allen with the slam this time. The six foot five sophomore helping Leo beat Lakewood Park Christian. Expect a lot more from this guy next season. Play number 15. December 20th, it's Will Shank with the stank. Shank, the Canterbury standout with the breakaway punch as the junior put up 16 points and six boards a game for the Cavaliers this season.